inspired you to become a filmmaker? Um, surprisingly, I think the war had something to do with it. Uh, because, um, you know, when we were kids, most of the time we, we were stuck at home because of the war. So we couldn't go out, we couldn't play outside, we couldn't sometimes even go to school. We used to spend really sometimes more than you know two three months without schools. Um, so I think during these times, boredom was a was a big part of my life. Uh, you know, as a child, you can't do anything. So TV started to become a very important part of my life. You know, the TV set, and uh, it it made me escape. You know, my reality, the boredom of my own life, and uh, and I was lucky because I used to live right next to a video rental store, and we used to rent, you know, these uh, video cassettes, the VHS cassettes for uh, films, and so I used to spend a lot of time there, choosing films, watching films over and over again, because, you know, we didn't have this, uh, you know, a big... Uh, numbers of films to see or collection of films to see so there were a lot of films that I used to watch a lot but a girl growing up in war-torn Lebanon and becoming a filmmaker whose films are broadcast in Cannes mm -hmm. there's a there's a gap there yeah there so is how did you go from one there to is the a other? big gap somehow it sound it seemed impossible it seemed like it was going to be the impossible dream but I don't know what it is that made me believe in that dream, not only believe in it, but I was sure that I was going to be able to do it somehow. I don't know what gave me this confidence, even though it sounded really impossible, because, like you said, war-torn country, uh, Arabic country. A woman. A woman, this was not something that scared me, mm. never. I really, that's very strange. But I feel a little bit irritated when we have conferences about the power of women or where, when we celebrate Women's Day because I, I do think that we should be looked at in that way. I have never personally felt the difficulty of my job because I'm a woman. It's a, for me, it's a difficult job anyway. It's a difficult life anyway. But you never, you never thought about the perception as opposed to what you... No, I never thought about it. And I never felt the difficulty or the look of other people, you know, looking at me in a skeptical way because I'm a woman. Never, mm. never. That's very strange. I know, I, I think that's probably, that probably could have affected the success, right? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I just, I just never felt it. So... So it was an impossible dream, but not because of that. Because of the fact that there's no film industry, we live in a very small country. You know, when we grow up in school, the first thing when they talk about Lebanon and when they show you Lebanon on the map, this is something I will never forget. They used to tell us, you see that little dot on the map? This is Lebanon. You barely see it. So you grow up thinking that you come from a small country, you will never make it. It's impossible to make it. It's, 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 it's not even a dot on the map. So how, how can such a small country be able to do anything? So you, you, and we do have this, even though we have this humongous pride as Lebanese, yeah. somehow we do have this doubt. And I see this doubt in all the people that even doubt my ability in making a good film. This brings us to talk about your first big movie, Caramel. And I read that you said that Caramel was sweet and salty, sugary and sour. It talks about the delicious sugar that can burn and hurt you. It was a time where I was asking myself a lot of you know, questions about us women. And I was not happy with what I was see seeing. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to identify 
to another Lebanese woman. And I wanted to look like, a, not, not to look like, but you know, when you're young, you want to identify to somebody. You want to, you want to find an idol. And unfortunately, I could not, because I felt that the Lebanese wo woman was very self-conscious, uh, was not at ease with her body, was very conscious of what other people, uh, how other people see her. I felt the weight of, you know, how other people look at you. Um, so there was a lot of, you know, the fact that why do we, why do we go through, why do we go to extreme so much? Why do we have to, you know, do all these things to ourselves, to our bodies, to our faces? To I'm talking about, you know, the plastic surgery, uh, plastic sur the excessive plastic surgery. Why is it that we have become like this? are lost in general. We don't know where to belong. Who are we? Are we Western? Are we Eastern? Or do we, are we, you know, we have all this modern society that is, uh, that we're exposed to. We want to look like these uh, people that are very trendy, that dress nicely, that are, seem to be very free. At the same time, we are very, um, uh, we don't know if we have to be more in touch with our, you know, traditional um, uh, side or uh, more in touch of you know where we come from, the language, who are we, why, 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 why do we deny our language this much? Why don't we? Why are all you know, especially this new generation? Nobody speaks Arabic anymore. Nobody reads Arabic anymore. We're either talking French or English. To go back to your question. Sikirbanit was this quest of trying to understand why we are like this. And so I, we started talking about, um, because we, of course we cannot generalize and we cannot talk about one Lebanese woman. So I took, you know, five examples of different women from different ages, different age groups, different, different uh, um, uh, backgrounds, different religions trying to live together in that same place. And, and I tried to tackle some of the problems these women are facing. People, you know, who, are, who do well at what they do, or have, but real talent, it's a word. It's not transparent. It's hard for me to deal with conflicting personalities. Did you ever feel as a it was just hard every time, you know, I had to come up with a, with a reason.